Thank you, Mark. Thank you to Louise. It's brilliant to be here. Um, as Mark said, I'm, I'm uh, in residence for the day. Um, and, uh, oh, I think I've... Uh, uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, the way that I work and the, the kinds of projects that I make, because I make them by doing something that I call research in public, um, which is a collaborative act of thinking about the way things work, and um, Mark mentioned systems, I'm very interested in systems, articulating them, bringing them to light, uh, displaying them, thinking about how we use them, and then how we might change them, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about a project uh, called World Factory that uh, we made um, over the past few years as a, by way of introducing how I work, and then I'll talk a little bit about what we'll be doing or thinking about today. Um, so... Uh, I'm interested in the relationship between people, places, things. Um, and World Factory is a piece which tries to articulate something about consumer capitalism by looking at the global textile industry. Uh, I came across this quote, but the thing that's particularly uh, interesting to me about it is that it was uh, said in 1843. So suddenly, you know, and, and things have got that much more complex, that much more difficult to unpick since then. So, our attempt to uh, think about the global textile industry came to the point where we decided we had to put the audience absolutely in the midst of it. And we set up a, a theatre piece at the heart of which was a game in which small groups of people ran, uh, imagine they were running a small Chinese clothing factory. And I'm just going to show you a little Jeez. bit of the start the of the game. If you're taking over a clothing factory, you have to cut the wage bill. Two options. Option one, keep the workers' wages at the current level, but sack half of your workers. Option two, keep all your workers and lower their wages by a third. They're already earning below the living wage well, so yeah. in the UK. Oh, no, I think it's... Is it just below their living wage where they are? Yeah, I think it must be for where they are. So no, then the, actually, um, not, I don't want to turn the sound down a little bit. Um, <laughs> when, <laughs> so I'm less interested. As the conversations went on amongst the <laughs> audience, they would like pull apart uh, questions that we were posing through the cards, and the cards would evolve into a storyline that went in a different direction for each audience member. They had money and workers. And what we were doing was repositioning the audience to pay attention. Um, and... Uh, there was a, a system at the, at the heart of it that enabled us to send the data back to the audience in the form of this kind of game show award ceremony where then the sort of aggregate, so we were looking at scale, micro, how micro decisions produce a, a, a large scale uh, process, um, which is something that's very hard to do in vids when you're trying to pull down to the, to the particular. Okay, so um, how many choices did we make together tonight? Let's take a look. In total, you have made 273 decisions. So, and then we also did little graphs, which open things up for people. But, and this is the card system. There are 420 cards. And this is the system of how all each dot represents a card, how they all connected to one another, actually creating 100 million uh, different mathematical routes through the game. There weren't 100 million stories, I have to say, but there were that many different combinations of possibility. Um, and what did it all boil down to? Well, a notion of active economic citizenship, uh, which is a phrase from Harjun Chang, the economist, thinking about how we participate in the production of our futures. And that's really what I'm hoping that we might be able to collaborate on today. So as Mark mentioned, there is that kind of anti-utopianism where people tell you all the time to get real. I've, come, I've been thinking about future scenarios, particularly in the context of climate change. But when you think about get real in the context of climate change, it starts to feel a little bit different. So I've been sort of reappropriating these kind of capitalist slogans that try and prevent us from imagining um, and turn them into something new. But of course, the question is, what, what can we do? And here, this, that's a very strong and positive question. But often I get the slight cry of despair from people. What can we do? Um, and, uh, and, and it's trying to turn that, um, turn that story around and find the ways in which we can move 
forward. So I've been pondering, like, why, why, why is there a, a kind of um, resistance? And one of the things I wonder is if, like, when we were mapping consumer capitalism, it's very clear that you know how to play the game. People take to that game very quickly, and they, they work it out, and they can, they can play it. Uh, we know what we are. This is a quote from Ophelia when she's mad in Hamlet. But know not what we may be. And the question is today, who could we be? What might we be if we scale up all of these ideas and, uh, and pursue them? Question again, of course, then is, you know, it's up to us. Uh, uh, Mark already mentioned tragedy. Are we the tragic hero? Are we going to go down in flames, uh, dragging the whole planet with us? Or are we on an epic journey? Are we maybe on the uphill of the, of the mountain? But what's the view on the other side? What might be possible? And so the project is all about living for the future. And outside, um, you may have seen, there's a big blackboard, and we've started to put up some ideas already and provocations, and we'd love you to contribute postcards to write down your thoughts, your ideas, quotes from things you've heard that you think are interesting, uh, responses to postcards that are already up there, and to map over the course of the day some of the ways of thinking is emerging through the event. Um, so it just remains to me to say, you know, we need to live for the future because you only live once. Thank you.